This is part one of finding out what's in these mystery molds I found on Gumtree. You guys wanted me to do the girl gnome first, so here I am getting it ready to go. So I cleaned the mold, then poured wet slip into her. She took a couple of hours to set, but once she was done, I opened her on the table and my jaw dropped. I know I should have opened her flat on the table, but whatever, it happened, we did it. It's fine, it worked out in the end. The detail in this sweetheart blew me away. This mold looked really smooth when I opened it, but I couldn't have ever guessed she would be so beautiful and with so much personality. I started painting, it was actually quite challenging. She's a lot smaller than I expected it, and I had to get the finest brushes to get into all the different ridges and nooks. The hardest part was actually painting her eyes. It was really difficult to give them the right shape and character in such a small space. I didn't want her looking creepy. She took about three hours to paint, and then I put her through the kiln, and here's the finished result. Make sure to follow for Mystery Mold Reveal Part 2.